Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010, creating a new database. After you've gone through the database design process, you're ready to start your own database. So let's get started and create a database from scratch. When you open up Microsoft Access 2010, you'll automatically get taken into Backstage View. From here, you can create a new database. You can create a new database using an existing template, or if you've gone through your database design process, you can create a blank database. The first thing when you're creating a blank database is to give your database a name. On the right-hand side, we can select Database 1 and give our database a name. Next, we need to decide where we want to store the database. And we're going to keep ours right in the Documents folder and just click on Create. When you create a new database, the first thing you should do is create your tables. Access knows this and has a blank table ready for you to use. You can also go and create your tables using the table design. In order to do this, we'd go up to the Create tab and choose Table Design. This is where you'll put the field names for your tables and what type of fields they are. Typically, the first field of a table will be the field you want to designate as the primary key field. Let's say we're going to do a customer table. So our first field might be Customer ID. We'll type the name Customer ID with no spaces, and then we'll decide on the data type. Text is the default data type. Text fields can be up to 255 characters long and can include text and or numbers. Some fields may be made up of just numbers, but if they're not used in calculations, you would use the text data type for those fields. Our customer ID may be numbers, but we're going to keep it as a text data type because we will not use the customer ID in calculations. The other data types that you have available to you are memo for long note fields, number for fields such as quantity that might be used in calculations, date and time, currency, auto number if you want access to automatically number that field, yes and no data type, which will put in a checkbox for the field, and other options, such as hyperlinks and attachments. We're going to use the text data type and move on to our next field. Each field will be placed on its own line, and you would continue typing the fields for the table. After you've typed in your fields, the next step is to designate the primary key field. So the customer ID will be our primary key, I'm going to click in there and click on the primary key button on the ribbon. Notice the key next to customer ID. That means when I'm typing in my records, I cannot use the same customer ID more than once. The customer ID is the unique identifier for each of my records. The next step is to save the table. If you're using the Lazinski naming convention, remember you need to use the tag. So I'm going to click on the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. And in Access, that's to save the object that you're in. So when I click on the Save button, I'll be saving the table. I'll call it TBL and Customers. Notice the tag, no space, and the word Customers. And OK. At this point, I will close the table and create the other tables of my database. At this point, I can create my orders table, again by going to the Create tab and Table Design and typing in the fields I want to use. In this case, the primary key field will be the order ID. I'm going to let Access automatically number each of my orders, so I'll use the Auto Number data type. The next field I'm going to put in this table is going to be the field I'll use to create the relationship between this table and the customer's table. Remember, in the customer's table, the customer ID is the primary key. I'm going to use the customer ID in this table as well, 
so I'll be able to know what customer has placed what order. So I'll type in customer ID. Since it's a text data type in the customers table, it does need to be a text data type here as well. And then you would go and type in the rest of the fields for the table. When you're done typing in the fields, you would identify your primary key field, in our case, order ID, and you would save the table. And we'll call it TBL orders. And you would close the table. Once you've created all of your tables, you'll then create the relationships between those two tables. We'll discuss relationships in another video. So that's how you can create a new database in Access 2010.